Hey, this is George Tab, the Motivated Rider, and I'm excited because we got a treat for you today. And so, one of the things that I learned about riding is it's a lot of energy. It takes a lot of energy, and people ride for various reasons. But one of the cool reasons is weight loss. And that's what I want to talk about today. Today I want to talk about weight loss. I want to talk about how you can lose 10 pounds in 10 days. All right. And so I know everybody's always making these promises about this, about that. But I'm going to tell you, I think I found a secret. And so I want to introduce to you my sister-in-law, Dana. Hello, everybody. And we're going to be talking about these energy bars but they're really like balls okay i don't know how else to say it but they're balls and i love these balls and i take them with me um when i'm riding i eat them before i ride i eat them during my ride and i eat them for energy you know one of the things i realize when you're out on the road and you're riding a lot of times your energy level goes down you have energy depletion and you need protein well, Dana introduced me to an amazing way with a lot of the ingredients that you have at home, low calorie, it helps me lose weight. Okay, so remember, 10 pounds in 10 days. It's easy to store, okay, because these little balls, you know, when you ride a bike, you don't have a lot of space. Now, if you're like me or my recumbent, I've got a carbon compartment, you know, carbon fiber compartment that uh, that ICE made um, uh, for that particular bike and so uh, so I have more space than a lot of riders do but I don't like to fill that space I like to keep it light okay because I want my bike to be light um, also one of the amazing things that I like about this is I can get them whenever I want and so Dana is going to be talking to you today about how you can make these at home. You might be saying, well, George, how can I buy them? Well, I'm sure she'd be willing to sell them to you, but a lot of the ingredients you have right at home. So David, just, just really tell us how you make these, um, these, these energy balls. Sure. <laughs> so as I've been on a quest for a weight loss myself, I was looking for something quick, easy. I can be kind of lazy sometimes. So that's why I really like these because a lot of these ingredients you probably already have at home in your pantry. So they're quick, they're easy, and they help me when I'm having those energy drops and I need that pickup. So I'll show you some of the ingredients that you're gonna put in them. Um, first, you're gonna need some oats, okay? So if you make um, the overnight oats, that's what you need, some old fashioned rolled oats. Now you're not gonna put these in whole. You're gonna take your um, your food processor and you're gonna grind them up. And so it makes like a little powder, but those are your oats. So you need those. You're also gonna need some almond butter or you can use peanut butter, whichever your preference is. You're going to take some maple syrup or you can use honey. I use maple syrup this time because that's what I had in my pantry, but if you have maple syrup, go for it. You're gonna need a protein powder. Now, there's so many different types of protein powder. This is just one that I already had at home. Um, I probably got this from Walmart. It's a vanilla flavor protein powder. The main thing you wanna do is make sure you're getting about 30 grams of protein in here. And so depending on what type- 30 of grams, that's a lot of protein. It is, but remember, you're gonna be dividing them oh, up. Okay, okay so, um, so whatever um, brains you have, just make sure you read your nutrition label to make sure you've added in enough to give you about 30 and, grams. And where do people get that protein? Where'd you get that protein from? Um, like I said, this is one I probably just picked up from Walmart, um, but you can get them from so many different places. Um, this one is a um, whey isolate protein, but you know, some people like plant-based um, plant proteins and different types, so it's really up to you whichever kind you prefer. Um, you're also going to need some vanilla extract, some salt, I've used almond milk, and you can use whatever type of oat milk that you like, and then the best part, some chocolate chips. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you can do dark 
I'm a milk chocolate girl. Mm. <laughs> so milk chocolate <laughs> is good for me. I'm not a dark girl. So um, those are your basic ingredients. That's all you need to get started. So I'm going to get started making some. Okay. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a bowl. And I just have this one right here. And you're going to mix together your almond butter. And you're going to take your maple syrup. So the maple syrup, I have about um, a third cup measured. I'm just gonna pour that in my bowl. And then for the almond butter, I'm going to use about half a cup. So I have a spoon right here. I'm just gonna mix some in here. And almond butter, it can be hard to work with sometimes. So if you do need to pop it in the microwave to soften it up a bit, go for it. How long do you put it on when you put it in the microwave? Um, probably about 20 seconds or so. You don't want to melt it too much. Um, you want me to pop that in? Sure. Mm -hmm. So if not, you're going to have to use some elbow grease. Get in there and mix it up. So you put, mix those two together um, and you'll start working. Um, next, what you're going to do is you'll be taking this, um, the oats that you grind it up in your food processor. Remember, if you don't have a food processor, you can use a blender um, if you have one of those, but you really want to make sure you get this ground down so it's almost like a flour, okay? So you're gonna be taking that next and your protein powder, So now it's nice and loose so you can really work with it. Mm, that's good too. Mm. And just gonna stir that up. And it's gonna be, you know, kind of loose, but that's okay. We don't have to be perfect. We just want it to be good when we're eating. All right, so that's pretty good. Now I'm going to take my oats. And I'm going to pour it in. How do you know how much to put in there? Um, so I measured out about one and three fourths cup of oats. And then like I said, I um I process them in the food processor. Okay. So you're gonna start stirring that. So could you um pour me out some of this um protein? Okay. And so I for mine, I'm gonna do three scoops. To get my oh, thirty. Oh, uh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have my three, and so now it's already really starting to come together and kind to clump up. Next, I'm going to take a pinch of salt to add to that. And that's good. It doesn't have to be perfect. After your salt, you want to mix that in some more. And at some point, I'm going to have to get in here with my hands and mix it up mm -hmm. so it's nice and good. Put your foot in it. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I'm going to take my vanilla extract. I am going to use one teaspoon. I just drop that in. It's always good to have some extra hands in the kitchen. And next is going to be my milk. And so you're actually not using a lot of the milk. Um, I'm going to take this tablespoon and I'm going to do two tablespoons of my vanilla almond milk. Remember, you can use um, coconut milk. You can use um, soy milk, um, but I do, if I do vanilla almond milk, I always go for the unsweetened one because that's cutting down my calories because I have about 30 calories per cup, so. So now I think I've used everything but the best part, which is the chocolate chips. 
So I already measured out about a fourth cup of chocolate chips. And so I'm going to have George pour those in for me. And so now what we're trying to do is make sure this mixture gets kind of sticky, all right? And so it's supposed to mimic cookie dough. So that's what these are. These are your cookie dough protein balls. So if you need to add a little more milk, that's okay. You just want to add in a little bit at a time. But you shouldn't see any of the flour. It should all look fairly wet when you're mixing it up. And, and then if I could say one thing. So if you like what you're hearing, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, help us get to 100 subscribers. Um, right now we're probably somewhere around 20 something subscribers. And so go ahead, hit that red button at the bottom of the video and, uh, and subscribe and it, you will be, you all the latest, I usually post about two or three times a week. And so you'll get those notifications, turn your notification on so you can get those notifications so you can get it out of the press. So we are pretty much at the end. So now you have your um, your mixture. And now if you can see, I have like a little ball pretty much. Um, and so once you get to this consistency right here, what you're gonna do is you're going to roll these into um, little balls. And you should get about 24. And if you have more or less, that's fine. But I want to, Take them, and now it's just kind of like you're making a meatball, and you're just going to roll it up, like so, okay? Stick it to the side. You make another one. You're gonna go on until you get through this entire bowl. And so, um, the last time I did it, I, I ended up with about maybe like 18 or 19, and they were kind of all different sizes, so I went back and kind of, you know, played around until I got about 24 of them and, you know, made some a little bit smaller, made some a little bit bigger, but you're just gonna keep going until you use it all up. Once you do this, you're gonna pop them in your fridge and you want it to be in like your air, a airtight container. A little Tupperware bowl works just fine. You're gonna let them sit for about 30 minutes and then they're ready to eat. I mean, you can eat it now if you like, but you wanna wait so they kinda harden up. The good thing about these is um, I find that they don't melt, which I love. Um, so, you know, like, like George was saying, you can pop them out into a container, go, go for a ride, um, put them in a Ziploc bag. For me, a lot of times, like I said, when my energy drops and I need that, that quick boost, um, I just um, grab one of these and I start feeling better immediately. So I really like them for that reason. And they're good. <laughs> so I mean, you know, being healthy, a lot of times you think that you have to eat, you know, terrible stuff that doesn't taste good, but they actually taste it. I mean, they have chocolate chips in them. Um, I, I love stuff with vanilla. So the vanilla almond milk with the vanilla protein powder, they they have that right balance to feel like, hey, I'm getting healthy, hopefully. <laughs> and, you know, I'm satisfying my taste buds at the same time. That's pretty much it. I'm just gonna keep um, rolling them until I get about 24, pop them in the fridge and you're done. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. And again, if you like what you've seen here today, what you've heard here today, I need for you to hit that like button. I need for you to subscribe. Help us build this channel. I think we're doing some good stuff and some positive stuff that's beneficial to help you lose the weight, look great. You know what? If you look great, you'll feel great. So God bless you and thanks for watching again. And remember, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button.